gone through how to connect our Airtable base, we need to walk through how to collect uh, information from different users to become either hosts or list information once they are a host. So I'm here on the become a host page, which we can see again, our visibility settings are locked down to logged in users. And we have this form here in the middle that's already set up for us. But if you're not familiar with how to add in forms, we do it just as we do with any other block, click the plus sign. And forms are dynamic, just like our Airtable lists. So you can click on dynamic form, and then you have a few options to start from here. So depending on what seems like the best fit for you from the beginning, you can go ahead and choose that. So uh, remember all of these are adjustable, but the, the layout here is started for you. So since we have this form, we can make adjustments. Again, your title and subtitle image, all that can be adjusted. The form fields that we have here are already set up for us. Now, because the form is dynamic content that is populated from the softer side and moved into Airtable, we can adjust our type settings for forms. So unlike when we pulled in and connected our Airtable information, we couldn't adjust our type, we can do that for our field settings. So go ahead and walk down through your form field settings. Just as we adjusted things with our Airtable, you'll click on each one, adjust the type, give it a label, a placeholder, and then uh, a tag. So as you'll see, this tag gives the name an attribute. Attributes are often used if you're using automation tools or looking at backend data so that you can quickly capture that data. So be sure that you are adding these tags in. Even if you don't need them initially, you may eventually need them as you work with more data. So for this initial form, they have it set up so that there's a profile picture that people are allowed to upload, the location, we have uh, the different drop-down multi-selects here with the different options. So again, these options, uh, unfortunately, are repeated from our Airtable base, but you can copy and paste. You do have to type them in, however. So that is one limitation that even though this is linked directly to our Airtable base and where that information is gonna be stored, we can't pre-populate this field with that data. We have to actually type it back in. So all of this information, once you have typed in, you'll have set up. Now, we can see we have a couple of hidden fields here. So this hidden field is logged into the email. So this pairs that person's email with the user. That will help let us know that the logged in person is requesting to become a host and doesn't ask us to, or doesn't have to ask the logged in member for their profile information. We are capturing that with a hidden field of their email. So we have their email and their user ID that allow us to capture their name, email, and all of that information so they don't have to re-enter it here in this form. So to, to uh, create those hidden fields, it's just a select here as with all the other field types. You can make any adjustments you need to on this page regarding the rest of the setup. Be sure you pay close, close attention to the button field here and where you're sending that information. So you don't need to send that information to Airtable. As you see, you can have lots of other options here, including straight to your email. But for our purposes here, we are sending that information to Airtable. We're picking the correct template and we're sending it to the correct table, which is the host table. Now, once you've sent this information over to Airtable, you could leverage Airtable automations to help you receive an email or review the host submissions if you have a process behind that. So again, depending on how you're using this two-sided marketplace, you can leverage some different automations once they have submitted this particular form. You'll need to also come to Pages and then list a space and adjust this form as well. So as we did with the last form, this form is set up very similarly. Same with the hidden fields that we have the logged in user as a host. And we have a, a bit more information here. We're sending this application to apartments. So just walk through uh, any additional forms that you need to set up, adjusting them as we've shown previously.